The next part, key to painting I want to talk to you about is that idea of having that emotional depth to your work. Now, emotional depth, what does that mean? What I take emotional depth and think of it as is that idea that you make that painting your own. You paint something that you're interested in. It might seem like it's a natural progression for someone to paint something they're interested in, but sometimes if you're too concerned about the assignment or just finishing it on time or whatever it may be, you're going to miss that whole idea of painting what you not only know, but are interested, excited about. Um, paint the things that you have experiences with or you want to have experiences with. Portray, portray a heroic moment in your life. Portray a struggle in your life that you've learned from. That emotional depth is, one of, is what's going to bring your work to that next level. To that level that we all want. Now, I pull up my website here because why would I show you about some other artist's work when we're talking about the emotional depth? And all I can show you is what... I have done in my own artwork. Um, the emotional depth of whether it's liking this random bearded actor or um, going to a zoo with uh, my to-be wife and having a great time and taking some pictures of the animals. Um, a place I visited in Italy uh, called Cinque Terre and spending hours in a basement in a freezing winter painting this painting on a pretty small canvas and spread, just taking all this time to fill in all these windows and everything and getting it just right. Um, the emotional depth of going to a parade in a different country and seeing just the inter interesting people that are in that parade, throwing them in a background image. Um, the emotional depth of someone listening to their music and just kind of staring blankly and how I was really contemplating at that point in time in my life of how the power of music can transport you to a different place. Um, a moose in a country where there were no moose. They didn't even understand what this animal was when I painted it. So I thought that was so interesting, so I painted it. I tried to enter that emotional depth in my work, and I continually am searching for what I'm interested in visually, whether it's the meaning behind it, what it may, you know, represent in our cultures. Now the question you have to ask yourself is, what are you interested in? What types of things do you get excited about? Is it a certain band? Is it a musical style? Is it a style of clothes? Is it a group of colors? A group of musicians? A group of cars? Trains? Planes? Superman, whatever it may be. That interest that you have in that subject is what I want to see in your work. I usually leave, if not always leave, these actual what you're going to create up to you because I want you to take that interest that you have in something and bring it into your work because otherwise you, it's not even your work. It's just this simple assignment. This creative freedom that I'm giving you, I really want you to take advantage of. And I want you to add that emotional depth and sincerity to your experiences as an artist. Thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing your emotional depth in your work. Now, let me know if you have any questions when it comes to emotional depth. But I have a feeling you all got a pretty good understanding of it. Thanks for stopping by.